One of my favorite YouTube channels uh, is Lazy Game Reviews. If you haven't seen uh, the LGR channel, it is primarily about PC stuff. Uh, Clint knows his PC stuff, and he has for a very long time. He's worked very hard on building the channel, and he talks about all kinds of games and accessories and uh, brushes up on PC history. It's really an interesting channel to check out if you haven't already, although I'm assuming that most of you have. Uh and I love watching his videos. I love his production work. Uh, he has a narration voice to die for. Um, does a killer Duke Nukem impression as well. Uh, but the thing that stands out to me uh, about his channel uh, and really the subject of this particular Unsealed video is there was a Let's Play, an LGR Plays uh, video that he did some time ago. I forget how many years ago it was that I stumbled across. And it was the funniest thing I had seen, and it's still one of the funniest videos that I have seen to this point. Now, granted, uh, humor is subjective, and what I find funny, other people may not. Uh, but he did a video on Barbie Super Sports that he found at a, uh, at a thrift store for 50 cents. He found it complete. And he did a video on it and just read it the riot act, and I thought it was hilarious. One of the funniest things in the video is that... Uh, there's a little full motion video type sequence where uh, because uh, Barbie's doing skateboarding or I'm sorry, um, inline skating and snowboarding, he has to uh, go into a skate shop and you can actually go to a water fountain. You hit the button and the water kind of squirts out. And he thought that that was hilarious. And I did, too. Uh, so after seeing that video, uh, one of the things that I do kind of as a lark is if I have found. Uh, these Barbie games complete, I've gone ahead and I've picked them up. Uh, now, not that I do Let's Plays on them, but I will play them from time to time and take pictures of them and uh, share them on social media and kind of share my pain slash experience with followers or with people who are interested. Um, and there aren't very many of those games that I have left. Um, one of the funnier games, I believe, is Barbie Race and Ride, where when you're actually on the horse, you actually see just the horse's head as like this first-person Racing Simulator is pretty funny. Uh, but I stumbled across this game in particular uh, while scanning on eBay, and it was ridiculously cheap, and it qualifies for this video. It is brand new and sealed. So behold, uh, for the first time, <clears throat> Barbie Detective, the Mystery Cruise, this guy right here, and it still has the Kmart sticker on it, and it is $29.99. Now, Kmart used to sell video games. I know some of you may not remember this because they've been out of the video game business for a few years now, uh, but Kmart used to sell video games. I used to go into Kmart every so often, and it was really during the uh, during the 2000s that I would do this, not so much during the 90s, uh, but I would go and I would look in their video game section because every so often they'd have some pretty good deals on clearance. So I would go and I would see what there was. I didn't buy a lot of games from Kmart. Uh, a lot of my video game purchases when it comes to stores like that uh, were from, I, I bought a few from Ames uh, during the Game Boy Advance period. Uh, I bought a few from Bradley's as well, if anyone remembers Bradley's here in New England. Uh, I think I might have bought one or two from Caldor as well. Again, a shout to uh, the Northeast there uh, when we're talking about stores that are no longer with us. So, um, this is a Kmart game here, $29.99. Uh, usually, PlayStation games were about $50 or so. This might have been a budget release. Uh, I don't know exactly the, uh, the time that was, this was new. Um, this is a game from 2000, so this game is now 18 years old. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this and we're going to kind of see what this is about. Now, I have not played this. I have not seen this played online uh, so once I finally get around to checking this out, once I'm finished with a certain Super Nintendo guidebook, um, I will report back and tell you how bad it is. Uh, one thing you can note is uh, you can see that pink down there, and it is Barbie Software for Girls. So uh, apparently I can't play this. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and let's see if we can get this open. Uh, this doesn't ha or This does have a pretty good seal on it, I should say. There we go. So I do have the tab, and I'm going to try and open that on camera. Yep, I had to look and make sure that it was actually on camera. So there is the seal removed. We'll flip this over, take that off, 
And we'll take the bottom off as well. So there we go. So put that away. Uh, we do have the Barbie Detective um, security seal right there. And we'll take that off as well. Uh, cruise into mystery with Detective Barbie and catch the Tropical Island Art Thief. Uh, from what I understand, this is one of the first Barbie games uh, to be made with the PlayStation in mind rather than being ported over from PC. So, uh, so that's a thing. So we'll open this up. We'll hopefully not have anything spill out. And let me just, yeah, I'll just go ahead and open it. So there is the pink disc, and there is the instruction manual on the inside. Looks like a PC game, though, doesn't it? Like the 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 disc art isn't very impressive. Is that see-through pink? Uh, let's go ahead and we'll take the manual out. You can see on the back of the manual, these are like the two big uh, Barbie games that everyone knows, at least if they cared about these for the PlayStation, uh, being Barbie Race and Ride and Barbie Super Sports, uh, both of which LGR has done on his channel. Uh, on the inside of the manual, it is black and white, but this is 2000, so we're now five years into the PlayStation lifespan, so very black and white, very plain. Uh, the writing is kind of small. The, the font is really tiny. Uh, there is some uh, Comic Sans uh, font in here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that I'm surprised. Uh, on the inside, there is a security or a, uh, a warranty card. Uh, Barbie Software for Girls is the address. Uh, and we take a look at the card on the inside. Um, again, username. Wow, that's, uh, that's really personal. Uh, user birth date, address, city, state, zip, country, email address, date purchased, and store. They want to know what store you bought this at. Um what video game systems do you own? And again, remember, we're talking about 2000 here. Uh, PlayStation Game Console, Nintendo Game Boy, Nintendo Game Boy Color, which came out in 98. Uh, Nintendo 64, Nintendo Super NES. So it's nice to see the Super NES still getting a mention. Thumbs up. Uh, PC, Macintosh, Sega Dreamcast, and other. Uh, how did you hear about this product? TV, magazine, friend, child, store display, internet, gift, or other. Imagine finding out about this as a gift for the first time. You have no idea what this is. Granted, uh, this is technically for girls, so I'm sure, uh, I'm at least I'm guessing uh, they would be pretty happy with it, but what do I know? Uh, do you own Barbie Race and Ride for PlayStation, Barbie Super Sports for PlayStation? So check and check. I actually do have both of those. Um, I probably should be ashamed to admit it, but again, because the games are so bad, uh, they are fun to go back to and, and make fun of. Um, how many PlayStation games do you own? Uh, zero. 1 to 3, 4 to 6, 7 to 9, 10 to 12, or 13 or more. I, I think I qualify for the bottom one. Uh, how many Barbie CD-ROM games do you own? You know, I'm not going to answer that. Uh, I'm just going to skip on to the next one. Uh, where do you purchase your video games? Uh, Computer Super Sport. This is the part that kind of hurts a little bit. Uh, oh, not really, because they don't mention me by name. Uh, Computer Superstore, Cons Consumer Electronics Store. Internet or a WWW site, that is World Wide Web, for those of you who forgot. Uh, music Superstore, uh, remember those? Like The Wall and Strawberries and all those places that don't exist. Uh, toy Store, again, places that don't exist uh, anymore. Uh, warehouse Clubs, those still do exist. And Other. Uh, do you have online access or internet service? Yes or no? So they don't ask you which one you have. And would you like to receive more information about Mattel Interactive Products? So you could send this back. Uh, you do have to put a stamp on it. Send it to El Segundo, California, and you are registered. Uh, I don't know anything about this game, like I said. Let me see if there's a little bit of a story here uh, before we close this. Uh, your mission. Uh, it is the summer season on the tropical cruise ship Island Discovery. This year, Captain Smith... Didn't Captain Smith go down with the Titan? Eh, forget it. Uh, has decided to have an onboard exhibition of local island art. The valuable artwork exhibits include a painting, a jewel-encrusted shell, and an ancient mask created by a local island tribe. Two of the exhibits have already disappeared without a trace, and Barbie and Teresa have been working undercover on the case looking for clues. Now, Teresa is trademarked. Becky is trademarked. When Becky, trademark, calls to tell them that another piece of artwork has been stolen, Barbie, another... The, uh, another trademark decides that it's time to step up the investigation and get to the bottom of the mystery. 
Now, Team Barbie Detective needs your help to recover the stolen artwork and figure out who did it. You'll need to follow the clue trail on board the ship and access or across, wow, across three tropical islands using high-tech gadgets in order to recover the stolen items and catch the thief. Once you have caught the thief, you can play again. There's a different thief to catch the next time you play, and you'll need all your detective skills again. So this has replay value, at least apparently. Uh, so I will tell you more about this when I get around to playing it. It's certainly not on my, uh, my list of things that I have to play right away. Uh, but there it is. So I'm one step closer. The only one that I'm missing now, uh, is I think called Barbie Explorer. Uh, and that's like the last one. Um, but other than that, those are just fun games to own because they're so bad. You've probably seen Let's Play videos of uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley's Sweet 16 License to Drive. Uh, that's another one just to play on a lark because it's just completely ridiculous. I have a few of the other Mary-Kate and Ashley games. Again, thanks to LGR for that um, as well. So this has been a rather unusual unsealed this time around. We'll get back to more traditional games the next time uh, as we are now back now that E3 fever is kind of uh, kind of going by the wayside just enough uh, so that you might want to take some time to watch these things. So thanks as always for watching. I know this is a kind of a weird episode, but we'll do one again real soon. Until the next time, see ya.